and welcome back to the conclusion of this very special Tuesday edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Uh, great job, Jakari Jackson and Raymond Teague in the news and interview portion earlier. Just bombshell info from inside uh, Air Force Intelligence and NASA with Raymond Teague. Hope you realize it took a lot of doing to get Raymond to come in here and talk about what he did tonight, but especially what he covered on the radio today. That is uh, some real important info uh, right there. Wow, I feel like I know him growing up listening to his music. And following what he does, and we put out the Obama deception, he'd plug it at packed concerts of 50,000 people, and then interviewing him in the last few years over the phone. It is even more incredible to be able to meet Professor Griff, Army veteran, uh, founder of Public Enemy, the uh, Minister of Information, uh, here with us today, a man who has a lot of courage and who is also a survivor. So I wanted to talk to you today, sir. Uh, Thank great you. to Great yes, to have you here with us. All right about how we ended the radio today, running out of time. Right. You, you were bringing up solutions, mm -hmm. and we're definitely saying, what do you think a solution is, Alex? Do you think it's getting people in media and entertainment start telling the truth? You know that is the big solution. That's why the system spends so much time trying to block that. Right. So looking out there at the people, you've got the floor, the call to arms in the info war. What does Professor Griff say to the young people out there about whether it's hip-hop or rock and roll or whatever it is, how they're crafting it to be a destructive message when we could lead a new revolution against the globalist uh, by really uh, talking about what's happening in this world. So, Professor Griff, you didn't know I was going to do this, but what is the state of free humanity versus the new world order right now? And what do you say to people out there? I think um, in owning your own, um, your own mind and your own thoughts is going to be, quote unquote, the new wave. We don't even own our own thoughts. A lot of the things that we discuss that we extract from the dirt sheets, these newspapers, be they digital online um, or, or offline, um, from sound bites, from commercials. And these are the things that we use um, to pull from to have these discussions. I say, scrap that. We got to dig deeper and dig the truth out of some of these stories that we're hearing on the nightly news to extract the real truth so we can make a difference now. If we're not going to become infomaniacs, if we're not going to become info warriors, if we're not going to be truth tellers, then what is it that we're going to do to put in place as a foundation to survive? We're not talking about going to eat lunch or going to the party or doing whatever. We're talking about survival from this point um, forward. So as an army veteran, as we talked earlier, I went to the army simply because I didn't really have a choice. Street, couldn't afford college. I'm too damn short to be a basketball player. <laughs> you know, I never asked to be a rapper. It kind of chose me. I kind of figured, well, let me go make something of myself. You know, sitting at home between the cartoons and the, uh, and, and the stories that you watch on, on, on TV and the program that you watch on TV, you get that Army commercial? Well, it hit me, and I said, well, maybe I can make something of myself in the United States uh, military. I went in as um, military police, ended up coming out as a 95 Charlie, which is a correctional specialist, but hated every single minute of it. Uh, the injections, the vaccinations that you're forced to take, um, the slight mind control, brainwashing, stripping you down, making you a, a killer of sorts, um, and then and, and, um, thinking that you're being trained to perform a certain function in society once you get out of the military is absolutely ludicrous and farce. It's a farce simply because um, a correctional specialist. I was trained to shoot, kill, stay in shape, and this kind of thing, to serve America on domestic and, and foreign shores. But when I got out of the military with an honorable discharge, mind you, wasn't able to find a job, found myself right back in the hood, and that's when the public enemy thing kicked in because I said maybe I could tell this particular truth using the medium of hip-hop. So if young people are watching this and they're listening, Number one, accept your own and be yourself and be as real as possible. Tell the story the way you want to tell the story, regardless of the situation and the circumstances. Um, I hear a lot of cats in the street now. You see them, one of these cats. Yeah, son, I'm just keeping it real. Well, how real are you keeping it? We're keeping it real. But a lot of times when we keep it real, they don't keep it this real. A lot of them uh, know the truth but fail to tell the truth because of their contract. And as you know, as I explained on your show before, a lot of them are signing uh, these 360 deals. Meaning that if you made an album, Alex, and your album came out, and we took this circle, we cut it up into an eight-piece pie, everything...
that you make money from your album. I don't care if it's merchandise, live shows, endorsement deals, whatever. All right? The record company gets a piece of everything that you do. It now owns you. Exactly. But listen, forever, this is why Prince had to wear slave on his face, simply because, uh, and he had to change his name to the artist formerly known as, because they owned his name. Wow. They owned his likeness. They owned everything until he made enough money to buy it back. By the way, I've noticed he's made comments about the chemtrails in the New World Order. Uh, it because, seems like he's awake. Because he's free. He's not bound, and bo bound by, by the contract anymore. But the young cats are coming up as not as smart as you, you and I and Prince. They're signing these 360 deals away, and they're signing their entire lives away because now they have ownership of your contract and your, and your IP and your material for domestic, foreign, international, universe, and now the contract says Galaxy. I've seen that. And this is ridiculous. These young cats don't know what a damn galaxy is, much less um, what they're signing, these 85, 95 page contracts that they don't know how to read. But they're trusting lawyers, and the lawyers have already took the oath and, and working with the record companies. So that's what I would like to tell young people. You think it's glitz and glamour all the time? You think you're going to be rich and you're famous, and it's far from that. It, it's far from that. Well, just to my own self, getting to go to a lot of big Hollywood parties and meet some of those famous people out there, they're in prison. They're totally unhappy. Exactly. And, and most of Hollywood says we're supposed to keep it left or right. It's basically a mafia runs this. And basically, if you don't get into one of these weird cults, mm -hmm. basically the cults you talked about, you're shut down, and, and, and you've seen actors talk about how there's a mafia killing actors. Yep. I mean, this is really going on. Very, very, very real. Why would Martin Lawrence run down Hollywood Boulevard, Wilshire Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, waving a gun, screaming? Someone's after him. Why would Dave Chappelle hand back a $50 million check? Why would Beyonce still be taking her clothes off at damn near 35, 40 years old? They signed on the dotted line. They've taken the oath. And these, some of these things they have to do just to stay alive in the music industry. And this is very real. If we look at some of the contracts, and matter some of the things that they do is based on some of the contracts they've signed. And they've signed their lives away. Let me raise this point. I know you've got to run into a show here in just a little while tonight, uh, an already sold out show. Uh, looking at this, we don't really have a culture anymore, whether it's American culture, black culture, white culture, whatever it is. Anytime I research a culture, whatever the original culture was, I love it. It's real people. Right, it's right, based on right. common sense. Mm -hmm. It's based on a history. It's great. It's this plastic, fake, poisonous culture. The globalists say on record to wreck people's minds yeah. so they can be dominated and controlled for a master plan of the future where we don't even exist in it. So how do you get that message across to people that feel so enslaved that they're not rich, they're not powerful, when for those of us that have had a chance to be up on top of the mountain, it's not like anything even good to sell out for. Right, right, right. I have to, it's almost like I have to learn a new language. You know, I'm 52 years old, I'm somebody's granddad. Talk to, speak to that generation, you have to have courage, you have to have the information, and, and you have to be able to at least speak to them on their level. To tell them that there's another world out there waiting for you to bring your talents to exploit you. They don't believe it. That language is in the contracts. They're exploiting your name, your likeness, and your talents so you can make money. But that was the old contracts. Now the new contracts, it basically says the same thing, but they're the ones that's going to make the money long after you're dead and gone. Now listen, they have this new thing out now, these holograms. I've seen Tupac holograms. I've seen a few other artists. And I've been telling the people ever since I've been on your show that they're going to start having hologram uh, live shows where no real people are going to be there performing. It's all going to be holograms. No, no, no. They already have Prince Charles won't go to events now. He appears via hologram. And they're going to have a hologram president now mm -hmm. where they can fill the teleprompter and the computer right. makes it sound just like Barack Obama. Exactly. Very dangerous. Exactly. So, and, and, and knowing that, our children will be showing up at concerts watching people that have been dead and gone for years. So they'll really own you forever, and then they can put whatever they want in your mouth. Forever, and bring you back when they want to bring well, you that's back, for whatever more, purpose. That's a more fancy version of what the press does, where they're always taking what I say, and not even taking it out of context. They will say, Alex says Obama sent the tornado exactly. to Oklahoma. Exactly. No, a caller said, do they have weather weapons? I said, yes, they do. This probably isn't that. Right. That turns into, I said Obama sent a tornado to make <laughs> me sound crazy. In the future, they can just show a, a, an image of Alex Jones right. saying whatever they want. 
or when they want to foster a war in some some place on on the planet, all they have to do is bring back Tupac or Biggie, bring back Heavy D or Big L, bring back James Brown, Don Cornelius, or one of these cats, make the commercial using the hologram, and get people to join the military to go. Here's an example: the Iraq War. They showed the daughter of the ambassador from Kuwait, who, mm -hmm. who was not in Kuwait, it came out it was all lies, right. saying Saddam threw babies out of incubators and basically wow. stomped their brains out. And they said that they weren't going to say her name, they are going to play a clip of this, we're not going to say her name uh, for her safety, it right. was all fake. Just like they said Gaddafi was raping women with Viagra, that wasn't true. Wow. They always put out, uh, you know, the, the Spanish blew up the main to get us in the Spanish-American right. right. War. Right. It turns out it's all a false flag, but do you think people, we're going to play that clip, here's a clip of that. Our final witness is also using an assumed name, and again, we ask uh, our friends in the media to respect the need to, for her to protect her family. And we finally call on Naira to testify. I volunteer, volunteered at the al Hospital with 12 other women who wanted to help as well. I was the youngest volunteer. The other women were from 20 to 30 years old. While I was there, I saw the Iraqi soldiers g come into the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators, took the incubators, and left the children to die on the cold floor. It was horrifying. I could not help but think of my nephew, who, if born premature, might have died that day as well. Professor Griff, you just saw that clip, a blast from the past back in 1990. Right. That was used to launch a war that now, 20 years later, has killed over a million and a half Iraqis. Right. British Medical Journal. That lie sold lie. Right. a million and a half real dead people, right. most of them kids. Exactly. So, I think the movie Wag the Dog spoke to this. And I think once we start seeing it in popular culture, popular entertainment, once they put it on the small and big screen, know that we're 10 years behind them. They've already pulled these things up in the quote-unquote theater of war. And as you mentioned, a million people lost their lives. And we have to understand these particular dynamics. It's very, very real. You see, we throw the term around keeping it real. We, we, we throw it around so much, it's almost like, you know, we, kinda, we just kind of say it in, in you know, it's this passe kind of kind of way but it's it's very real and a lot of times when we watch the news and we, we try to extract uh, bits and pieces uh, of the truth from the news we fail to put it and incorporate it into the songs into the live show because we feel like we're not we're not worthy of that we not we don't have enough I was about to say I study this 18 hours a day right. It's so overwhelming. How do you take people raised on pure lies and decipher something that big? I mean, it's so over. I mean, I mean here's an example. They've had Russian troops here training for 20 years. Right. Now they're admitting Russian troops are going to patrol America. And, and people are like, okay. I mean, it's just, it's all, but then American troops are going to patrol there. It's this new world corporate government where they're exempt from taxes. They're, ex right. they're God, we're nobody. But, Alex, if you're fed these particular things to soften you up through the video games, through the movies, through the music. That's it. Um, you, you, you're there. You, 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 we, they have you open. And now, to actually pull it off, we think we're on the video game. We think this is not real. This That's it. The, they're blurring the fantasy world with the holograms, the video games, exactly. with reality, so that once it really happens, nobody knows what's... Let me ask this in closing. If it was a football game between free humanity and the team New World Order, mm. who do you think is going to end up uh, winning this thing? I mean, what does your gut tell you? My gut tell me the free-thinking people will prevail simply because how long can you keep the lie going? What else is it, what new trick that you have to come up with to keep the lie going? Um, I think free-thinking people will win simply because um, I think we have the wherewithal. I think... I think once, once we tap into the self, we tap into this, this, this wealth of knowledge that I, that I know we have and that's, that's out there, you know, there's not enough tricks and lies and games that these people could come up with. Absolutely. But we have to understand it, know it, and I'm going for it in my lifetime. Regardless of what I have to suffer, what comes against me, I'm going for it. I'd rather die that kind of death than to, to live um, this lie, than to live... Um, this life that someone else has kind of carved out for me that I'm not really living. When I studied earlier, uh, earlier this morning, I was studying what I had for breakfast. 
I pushed it away from me. It was at the hotel. I don't want to mention what hotel. I pushed it away from me. And I, is this genetically modified food? Is this real food that I'm eating? And then it made me think, how am I going to sustain my life if I not only find out the real truth spiritually, if I not um, enhance, exactly. enhance my intellect, and then I got to put real food, living food in a living body. So I'm pushing the, the, the cornflakes and the banana and the muffin away from me, saying to myself, I just can't do it. I'm tired of eating at these hotels, exactly. getting on the bus, feeling sick. You know what you just said that's so incredibly heavy? I know people that go to foreign countries where there's no GMO in mm -hmm. Eastern European places, and they eat like pigs and drink, and they lose weight because it's not the GMO. They've done studies on pigs and things right. and other farm animals. They feed them the GMO. They get sick, fat, and die. But here's the thing. I know all this, and I can't stop giving it to my kids. Even, I mean, I've cut back. I go out, and I'm hungry, and they just give it to me, and none of us question. And when you start questioning everything, right. you see how deep the prison is. Yes. And, you, and what you said about you're committed. You know, to us, keeping it real is not we're cooler than other people, right, right, and right. we've decided to go against this. We've seen the other side. We realize it's a con. It's death. Exactly. The only thing you can do is pull away from it. And even when you totally are aware of it, I'm a slave. I can't even get out of it all. Right. I'm letting them kill my kids. Right. I mean, so how do I make a total break? How do any of us out there watching do that when it's so overwhelming? I think we totally make a break with it, just like you just said. Exactly. Once you follow the yellow brick road and you end up and you figure out who's behind the curtain, once you discover that, how do you act? How do you conduct yourself? Now we know that this guy is controlling everything, pushing the buttons and the levers. We pull the curtain back. How do you conduct yourself? You have to have information to do that, plain and simple. I think you withdraw your consent from them. You don't buy anything from them. You vote with your dollars while that power is still left. Because I would say they're about 80% into their program. If I had to draw this out. They're about 80% into their program. And you know the New World Order is where they're going. And we're about right here. Right. But they're st Now, they've gotten here, but it took them longer. And it's gotten where it's an uphill battle. It seems insurmountable, but if we all just start resisting, it'll snowball and push them back. Exactly. And I think, though, that what they've got going for them is that it's so overwhelming how evil it is that, 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 that A, people can't believe it's this bad, even though they know it, part of it's true, and B, they feel powerless. But what they've got to realize is, in all the Hollywood movies, they show it as one guy beats the bad guys. Right. And they, they don't think of themselves as the Schwarzenegger or the you know Denzel right. Washington or whoever right. beating everybody. Well, you've got to realize it's actually billions billions of us right. that are in this fight and all of us doing a little bit together will move mountains especially when the bureaucrats and people and the, and the, and the enforcers realize even if they're evil they're not actually on the winning team right. they've been conned but we better speak up while we have the chance i agree give us the websites publicenemies.com and pgriff.info that's www.publicenemy.com and www.pgriff.info Info. Okay, now this interview is going to end, and I'm always running on at the mouth. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to throw out at people? No, we're good. Then my last question, who else is awake who isn't public uh, out there that you know that, that understands what's going on? I mean, obviously KRS-One's been on the show. He knows what's <laughs> going on. He helped influence you. Uh, you, were, you were telling me some of the other guys you know that are, that, that are awake but don't want to go public. Yeah, but I hope they don't get me for this. But the, the, the Andre 3000s of the world from Outkast, they, they, they're awake. You know, there's, there's some uh, the Erica Badu's of the world. They're awake. They know um, how they have to get small bits, degrees of truth out is really an artistic thing for them, and I leave that up to them. But I know these people, you know... Um, CeeLo Green, a couple of guys from New Edition. These guys are awake and aware. They, they, they know. Ron DeVoe of New Edition is a good friend of mine. I feed them information all the time. They're aware of you, your show, and your work. Um, we got called by a really famous icon of icons, right. and we're, we're, we're working on getting him on the show. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've put the call out. And I've just said, it's time if you know what's going on, you better do something. It right. doesn't mean save the world. Right, right, right. doesn't mean Mission Impossible. Yeah, you, sound, you sound like me. <laughs> I, I mean, we've all got to do just something. Something. And together, it's going to bring it down. Right, exactly. So these guys are awake and aware, but they understand the opposition because they understand what happened to me. Getting kicked out of public enemy, getting poisoned, and these kind of things. So they know what they're up against. Uh, but I tell them, look, I'm still standing. I have to do a little bit more than that. Anyway. i got to throw one more thing in at you here, and I know you got to go. It's just so great to have you here in person, and we appreciate it. Professor Griff, founder of Public Enemy, here with us. 
What do you say to the New World Order? I mean, I know they're going to move forward with their plan, but I've talked to some of their children, some of their physicians. A lot of people in their own system are getting cold feet about how evil this is, but they're not the ones that are promoted to the very top positions. But what do you want to say to the dark side, to the New World Order, uh, to the uh, people that want to destroy humanity? I think if I came face to face and, and, I, and, I, and I looked them in the eyes, I think I would basically have to impart to them. They watch. That, Talk to them right there. <laughs> Look them in the eye. I think I'd want to say, you know, you're not you're not dealing with men that are cut from the cloth that you presented to us. Um, we're a different kind of men, like men that have come before us that was truth tellers. Um, we become larger than life if we end up six feet under. Yeah, that really doesn't that that really doesn't move us. We're probably larger than life once we make our transition. But while we're here breathing on this on this earth, um, we'd like for you just. Put your sword down and come on this side simply because the grass is just a little bit greener and safer on this side simply because they're probably using you. Now, those of you all that are working for this element that you probably have no understanding understanding of, that's who this particular message is for. Now, to the other people behind the scenes, we want to say this. We're going to be here regardless. Um, we don't care how you come at us, what methods you use, be it uh, covert, overt. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're linking up. We've already we already knocked down one wall. You're seeing white and black um, come to, come together because we haven't fell for the trick that you put out there for us. It's about the information. It's about us being human and carrying this information forward to save the vast majority of people of the world that you're trying to kill. Plain and simple. Yeah, absolutely. The divide and conquer will fail. That's why they're really, really pushing hard. Professor Griff, powerful. Thank you. God Give bless thanks. you. Yes, sir. Amazing you. meeting you in person, man. Oh, give thanks. I'm about your height, so we're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God bless you. We'll talk to All you right. soon. And, and yeah, we're going to try to develop some music together. We're going to make that happen. I'm a, the first bad Professor Griff album about to come out. That's right. <laughs> I mean, bad. That's All, a joke. Right. All right, folks, that's it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Great job to the crew. The new edition, the July issue, is selling out very quickly. It's got 10 free bumper stickers that'll wake people up in your area if you post them in good places, if you know what I mean. Legal and lawful areas. America has been occupied by globalist forces. Listen to Alex Jones' show, Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones. That's just the four big ones uh, that are right there. I mean, that'll really get people listening and waking up. That's who we want to go after, is not just the choir, and then six little ones. So four big ones, six little ones, great to put on your book bags, your car. Please don't put these on police cars, wherever you do. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. Again, great job with the crew. And let's go uh, see the show tonight with uh, LL Cool J, Ice Cube, uh, Ice Cube, De La Soul. And, and uh, how far is this tour going? All over the country? All over the country. The last stop is in L.A. How many more stops? I think we have about five more stops, yep. And, and they've been selling out. Tonight's sold selling out. out. Yes, sir. So people, I guess people can't get tickets then. Are, are there any tickets no, left? No tickets. What about all over the country? They got to go to scalpers? I don't know what they're doing, but they're getting in one way or other by hook or crook. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. That's it. We're out. All See right. you, uh, Lord willing, tomorrow night. InfoWars Nightly News, InfoWars.com. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.